the Washington Village Development Association, WVDA. This is Kim from WVDA. This is Pig Town Month in Review for June. On June the 13th, 2009, the Washington Village Development Association sponsored the program Hooked on Fishing, Not on Drugs. For many of the kids you're seeing, this was the first time they were ever given the opportunity to go fishing. Now all we want to do is go to work and come back alive. That's it. And a number of communities here in Baltimore City say enough is enough. We want to make our block safer. And ABC2 News investigator Brian Kubler shows us the way some in the community are making sure we stay safe. The Washington Village Development Association started fighting back. And they say look at their pig town neighborhood. They're winning. We've been saying this is enough for three years now, and we've had tremendous success down here on the houses that they use. Dan Cosgrove is the president of the At Times Gutsy and Brazen WVDA. In three years, his organization has gotten tough, tougher than criminal. A lot of people out in the community that have had enough, and they're looking for leadership. An in-your-face, walking tall type approach to let everyone know in just what direction this neighborhood is headed. How about that? You can go to our website and watch more of this. Wow! It's good stuff, Brian. WVDA gained national media attention when CNN picked up the Channel 2 news story. Two days later, the president and vice president of WVDA were guests of the Ed Nar Show on FM 105.7, The Fan. And we've had uh, a couple of very successful cleanups. Uh, last weekend we went out and removed uh, a lot of couches, sofas, mattresses, about 30 bags of trash and debris from the gutters of our neighborhood. It's always exciting to see people participating. We had good news for Pigtown, good news for everybody who lives here, and uh, we're moving forward. The Washington Village Development Association and WVDA.